up everybody out there? Welcome back to another Addicted Life. Today, we're doing some springtime fly fishing. Our friends out here at Rocky Ridge Ranch in Eastern Oregon asked us to come out and fish some of their private ponds. And today, we're gonna do just that. I got my best buddy Phil with me. He's never caught a fish on a fly rod before. These are fly fishing only lakes, so we're gonna be using a couple different techniques, doing a couple different things, but absolutely perfect spring conditions. It's warm, it's calm, and it's fishy. Let's go do it. All right, everybody, big reds all ready to go. We got our loaded full of gear. Oh, loaded full of people. Little, where you at? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. So dude, let me ask you this. What are we looking for out here as far as just catching trout? Like, what are we trying to find? Well, I'm pretty sure what they were telling me is this deep, or this lake is the deepest. It's about, it's like 65 feet down there at the dam. So, all I know, that why I want to fish this one more than any of them is because it has the best potential for the holdovers. Ones that'll come back in and spawn and they'll keep swimming back and forth. And that's, I mean, they're huge. But this one's gonna be hard to fish because it's deep. So I think we're just gonna start by casting. So what we're using here today, guys, we got, mine's a six weight, his is a five weight uh, fly rod. Four weights is probably as small of one as I would use out here, um, just because they are big fish. and. Four weights, just a nice, easy castable rod. Anything smaller than that gets a little bit difficult if you're just learning how to actually fly fish. So I'm gonna add a little 10 pound fluoro bumper here. Well, that. I'm actually gonna use the tungsten, the tungsten heads. These are super heavy. They're like little micro jigs. They almost look like the jigs that we were using yeah. out there on the Snake River with Josh and, and Cody, but just little woolly buggers. I don't know what size these are. I think they're like a size two. They're pretty big. There's only one or two more sizes up from this. Um, but just because of the general fact here that we're fishing such deep water, um, it's, it's, it's gonna strike. It looks like the whole lake is deep to me. We're just figuring this lake out, guys. I've never fished here before. So that's gonna be the fun part about today is we're all gonna be learning together. And then even Phil, he's gonna be learning to fly fish in general. So, but this is easy. It's easy. I'm sure all of you out there who've tried to fly fish probably tried to do it from the bank and ended up in the trees and the bushes. And so it's a little bit easier to learn out on a boat. So maybe today pick up some of the tips that I'm gonna be giving Phil and take them home with you and help you out there on the lake. There it is. We got olive bugger, which I think is actually gonna, I don't know. It kind of blends in with this watercolor a little bit, but there's about five, six foot of his. Little algae on the surface here. We just had some really hot temperatures the last few days. But I think, let's put a little split shot on there. I'm, cheat, I'm going cheater here. I'm gonna add a little split shot to our line. So you go back, you're gonna point it and keep your tip high in the air. I don't want you doing this. I don't want you going back into the ground like that. Yeah. And then going, trying to go forward, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get all that drag coming off the water. You don't want it to touch the water. It's gonna have that drag off the water. It's gonna shoot out. It's gonna hit you right in the back of the head. Okay. And you can feel your rod load and the timing. See how much I'm pausing when I go back? Yeah. I wanna make sure I feel that line straighten out. And like, like Phil was explaining to me last night, watch it. Turn around, watch it straighten out. Now go forward. So as you go back, let it load. Forward, let it load. And point your rod tip right where you want it to land. You'll, you'll start feeling this. Pretty easy to cast. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yep. This is going well, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below with about your very first time ever fly fishing, guys. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm starting to get it. I'm yep. starting to feel it, dude. Yep. Okay. It's like riding a bike. It's, it's, like, it's like carving a snowboard. You make that first turn and you're like, oh, that's it. That's what it's supposed to feel like. It's supposed to feel sexy. You gotta Everything feel sexy, dude. sexy, dude. It's all about feeling Call sexy. One, looking good. Ooh, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Okay. Want me to reel in? Nope, it's all right, it's a little bass. Ooh, first species was not intended. I kind of figured with the water color and the clarity and stuff on this side of the lake and uh, just the depth overall, the guy that owns this place told me that they had some nice big large mouth in here. But I didn't get the biggest one, but I did get one. Oh my God, it's a small mouth. What the heck? Okay, everybody, mystery lake. Definite mystery lake, a small mouth bass out here in the desert. Pooping all over my boat. Oh, and no. all over me. 
super cool. Really cool little bass. So weird. Didn't even know these things existed out here. All right. There's a lot of surprises in this place. Full of mystery. <laughs> there he is, caught him, he's got him, that's a good one. That's a good one. Take him line, just take him line. On the troll, everybody, on the troll. Black bugger. First fish of the day. Dude, that's a nice one, man. Taking all skill out of it. But I was just explaining to uh, Phil that we're gonna just kind of systematically fish this lake. Whenever I'm fishing a lake that I don't know at all. Oh, double? Hold on, let it, let it sit there, let it sit there. We got him, there he's there, he's there, get him, get him. Oh, no, other way. Oh my God, everybody, ah! <laughs> you lost it, stop, stop, stop. Let it sit, don't set the hook. Oh, dude. You did everything wrong there. I did everything wrong. <laughs> did no. Everything wrong there. Little, shut the hell up. He did absolutely everything wrong there, guys. Comment below. That was hardcore. That was hardcore. He's gonna eat it again, just let it sit there. Oh, it was oh that's a good one. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, dude. So they also, that in this lake, you guys, they stock steelhead as well. So they stock little 16 inch steelhead and they say that they are much more acrobatic and they don't die. And that doesn't seem like a normal rainbow to me. Oh man, he's fast. So it kind of seemed like we found a little pack of them. Mine got hit. We must have been having them. Must have had him following us the whole way. Oh, and he came off. That's okay. I have a feeling that's not gonna be our last one. But cool, first fish on the troll. I was just working my way to the other side of the lake. I was just telling Phil, we're gonna go up one bank, let the wind drift us down. We got a perfect wind coming off the, the deep end of the lake. So we're gonna work each side, maybe one down the middle. And I really wanna focus on these freshwater inlets. These freshwater inlets are gonna be where these fish go in and spawn. And it's where their source of food's coming from. Unless it's off the bottom of the lake, it's gonna be getting flowed down those ditches and those little creeks that come into the, the lakes and be bringing them all kinds of bugs and different stuff to eat. That was a nice cast, dude. I saw that. I saw that. They stocked a thousand trout in here. Oh, he's oh! Come back for it. He'll come back for it. Rod holder fishing. Oh, that thing was hammered. Yeah. None of us were paying attention. I, did, I just heard it. All I heard was mind. just drag. It's okay. Our method's working. We might go to the troll if we go over here and just start casting it and it doesn't work. This is obviously working really good. Yeah. It's a cool method for you guys out there to learn. Even if you're not a fly fisherman, this really takes out the, the complicated part of it, just putting it in a rod holder and trolling it around. But this, wor this works with the motorboat, this works with any kind of boat. You can even add weight, you know, put like an ounce inline weight and send these buggers down deep uh, if you're like just using a spinning rod. But we'll demonstrate some of that today. We're going to use our fixed floats in the spinning rod too. So let's keep trolling. Oh, it's a ripper too. Just sitting there, guys. I was just kind of rowing. I think again, it was, we were kind of on top of them right in there, sitting over here. For the record, Phil, too, if you do go to the reel, it's like you got to reel like this unless they take Super off. Super fast. Got it. It's only one to one. Okay, gotcha. That might be a bass. No, it's a trout. It's a trout. It's a big one. He just doesn't even know he's hooked. Ready? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Such a cool fish. Whoa. Now he's going to figure it out. Super cool fish. Man, that was an awesome take. I like when they're in the rod holder like yeah, that. Yeah, so they, they just they just start taking off, you guys. This is such a cool lake for that. You could be using a canoe, kayak, you know, little blow up pontoon, like whatever you want. And you can just do this style of fishing. It works really good. Oh, man. And those things really sunk down there. I think we might add some split shot here in a minute, Phil. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. This fish has been in this lake a while. You can tell by the this the kind of the body shape and size. It's not like it was just stocked. That's the really cool part about this lake and these lakes over here in in Central Oregon and Eastern Washington and all the areas. Is these fish live for so long because they're such good insect life. It's getting back to that. Thank you, little guy. Well, that was awesome. Woo! Bugger yeah. down, dude. Yeah. Here we go. Beautiful. We'll get him to stick on your rod one of these times. Oh yeah. It'll happen. It's gonna happen. Oh. Is he on there? Yeah, I think so. Strip, 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 fast. There you go. Okay, now he's on. Oh, you just pulled it out. Oh. Damn it. That's okay. That's okay. Just let it sit there. Got him. 
Oh, nice. Nice pig, dude. Killer pig. Killer pig, dude. Yeah, baby. Man, these are good trout in here, guys. Look how healthy they are. Not your typical, typical stock pond. Oh, man, what a beautiful trout. What do you think of that one, little? Wow, look at that thing, guys. What a special trout. Goodness gracious, thank you little guy. Man, those things are strong. Just a really, really, really awesome little trout. Get him, get him back in there. Uh, Freaking way, guys. High five. All you addicts out there. It's about to be Phil's turn. Just make sure to let that thing sink longer. Yeah. Let that thing get down there. So I let mine get really close to the bottom. And I was like the third or fourth strip in, he really hammered it. Well, so far we've got him at every single corner of the lake honestly it's saw ooh, he's there oh I had him come back for it there he is got him oh that's a good one. Oh, that was <laughs> sick oh dude talk about a munchy munchy what if I think this might be the same exact trout what do you addicts out there think he looks pretty tired <laughs> I just did I really just catch the same trout twice and look at that bugger in there guys what a beautiful sight. Any fly fisherman in the world loves that sight right there. Later, little dude. Guys, we think we found it. We found the mayhem area. Oh, got him, got him. Nice. Got him. You see how direct you were with your rod tip that time and that's exactly where it went? Yeah. That, that's one thing you want to remember too, like send it, be really uh, commanding with where you go, just right to that spot. That, that had nothing to do with how I caught this fish, but. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's just dogging me. Submarine stat. Oh, there he goes. Man, man. Man, it's so much fun, everybody out there. Just the coolest thing ever. Wow. What a beautiful one this one is. What an incredibly cool. Oh. Well, there he goes. <laughs> Quick release. That's the really cool looking one. I wanted to get a little bit better look at those colors. That thing had some awesome red cheeks. Again, a holdover fish, one that wasn't just planted. So the really cool part about this lake, again, there's, there's so many trout living in here that just live in here. So remember, if you guys want to check this lake out, go down here in the link in the description. You can come out here on this ranch. Really cool place to be. Awesome cabins. You're going to be seeing more of us filming here. So stay tuned. Let's catch another one. Phil's first one. Yeah. First one ever. What is it, dude? I can't even see it yet. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Look at him, he's all bendo. Sean's got the drone in the air. That's a good one, man. Nice fish, Phil. Yeah. Dude, there, <laughs> first fly rod fish. Yeah. Little cheering you on over there. Yeah, it was the split shot, man. I think it was just, the, it was adding the split shot. We weren't getting down deep enough. Even right under, even in this finger of this lake, it's like 15 feet. So, got getting that thing way down, getting it in Whoa, front of those dude. fish. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Good job, man. Wow. Whoa. Oh, cool. <laughs> Whoa. Here, dip, your, dip your hand in the water and give him just a little hold. What a cool fish. There it is, guys. Oh. Job, Phil's yeah. dad. Woo. First fly rod fish. Wow. We found the honey hole. Man, that was fun. I think we're gonna get some more. That was Let's, so we fun. Gotta find the, we gotta find the big boys now. Yeah. Oh, I have whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on, dude? Oh. oh. <laughs> Got him on the text. On the text, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, boys and girls, ladies and gents. He's towing us. He's towing us back out into the wilderness. Oh, that's the best one yet. Yes, sir. Oh, sweet. We might have to start changing up bugs and see what we're going to get, get going here. Yeah. They're getting progressively bigger, though, and nicer. Look at how fresh this one is. 
Again, we found the main clear water inlet, that, that fresh water coming in. The water's not even quite as algae in here. You can definitely tell the difference. Oh. I was just sitting there playing on my phone. What do you know? Look at it, everyone. Look at that thing. Oh, so sweet. Got him. Oh, that thing was huge. Oh, he had it for a while too. I was super late. I think you guys could see that. It was like strip, strip, and it was just getting tighter and tighter. I think he was swimming away with it at an angle. And he freaking spat it. Oh yeah. Oh God, that's a really good one. Ooh. Oh, nice fish, dude, nice fish. Nice fish, everybody. Oh, that was sick. We got that at so many cool angles. Oh, wow, look at this fish. Look at that, everybody. That is so neat, look at this thing. Wow, everyone, look at that fish. Wow. Come on, come on, big guy. Oh, this is when a net would be nice. Woo! Whoa. Yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. That's what we came for. That's what we came for, ladies and gents. Look at that thing. Now that is a good shroud. Probably 25, 26 inches. Monster beast. Oh, wow, guys. That was epic. One more last look at him. Wow. Thank you, little dude. Ah, later. Woo! Good job, man. Awesome, fish, awesome man. I just loaded up and gave it to him. Is <laughs> it? <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. Oh, that was a bad one. Is it in there? <laughs> oh, that one's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> Dude, ouchie, wouchie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably not as bad as it feels. Ow. <laughs> well, we're starting to have a really epic morning. It's been pretty good so far. Phil's got his first fish. I've got quite a few really nice ones. We got three lakes to fish here today, though, so we're going to kind of work fast. I rode back out to the beginning of this inlet that was doing us so good. So we're going to fish this hard. We might go try that far side of the lake where we got those little steelhead to begin with. And then we're going to go switch to a different lake and see if there's some bigger fish in there. Oh. On the cast? Dude, it's huge. Yeah. Oh. That a boy, Phil Stir. Oh, dude. That was so cool. You went to recast. Yeah. That's what's going on? Yeah. Just stuck him. Dude. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Pilster. Dude. Dude Look at, he just ate that fly. Poor guy didn't even know what hit him. <laughs> you hit him like last Tuesday's lunch. Yeah. Yeah, dude. We hit him like dude. Phil's leftover spaghetti. No way. <laughs> Stripping the bumper, dude. Stripping the bump. Stripping the bump. First you whip, then you space bay. Ooh. Now watch me whip. Now watch me space bay. Now watch me whip. Now watch me space bay. <laughs> That's hardcore, dude. I'm whipping, whipping, space bay. Man, this is unbelievable out here, man. Is this cool? I just oh, love fishing yeah. with buddies, man. Getting a good day on the lake. We never, you know, me and Phil get to fish a lot. He's my best friend. And, uh, but never get to come and do stuff like this. So I, it's nice just having your best bud. Comment below what your favorite fishing buddy is out there. Tag him in this video so you can see how much fun we like to have and, and just a good buddy experience. Especially in between salmon seasons, I couldn't think of a better way to spend the afternoon. No, exactly. And these little trout are on the fly rod, uh, I would say are every bit as fun as catching certain steelhead in certain situations. Yeah. Yep. This is so fun. All right, off to lake number two, everybody. Lake number one really did us good. It was really good fishing. The wind's starting to pick up, but 
We're gonna keep fishing anyways. We gotta check out all three of these lakes, see which one has the biggest ones. I feel like we didn't quite get this one's full potential. I think you get here on a day when those fish are rising and they're coming to the surface and eating, you could really have some fun with some dry flies, some different stuff. So we're gonna go to the next lake. We're gonna even switch tacks a little bit too. I'm gonna show you how to set up the same sort of deal that we're doing, but on a spinning rod. So let's go do that. Let's hit lake number two. Lake number two. Really, really cool one. This one's a little bit higher up, a little bit cleaner water. It seems to be the smaller of the three. But it's really cool this ranch you come out here and they only allow like six people on the property at a time. So it's really nice. There's, there's one guy on this lake, one on the other, one on the other. So we pretty much got the place all to ourselves and it's beautiful. But right as we pulled up to this spot, this guy behind us had like a steelhead sized trout on. So I think we made the right move. I took my split shot off. We're gonna go a little bit lighter. The water's way clearer in this lake. So it's, it's kind of fun. You get to come up and try these this totally different tactics on a totally different situation. Um, different water clarity, probably different temperature. So it's kind of one of those cool days where you can try out different styles of fishing for trout in each different lake due to the water conditions. So here we go. So guys, this rod here, my buddy Phil let me borrow it this morning. And it was the first fly rod that Jordan caught his first fish with a fly on yeah and I caught my first it's got fish. a lot of mojo it's been all over that, that rod's been all over the world this rod is about as fishy as it gets it's about as fishy as a seagull fart you know whoa <laughs> that's saying a lot brother so this fellow angler out here is whooping our ass everybody second we just turned around again he's landing another giant bigger than anything we got so far and we knew, so when we first got here, we were just talking about like, yeah, let's go to the head of the lake. And then I saw this guy catch one here, so I let it pull me over this way. Gravity switched, and I came this way. And then I saw him go around, and we're like, oh crap, we should have went to that, but then we didn't want to have bad etiquette and not, and like go cut him off. And now he gets over to the freshwater and just nail the giant. And he's just gonna keep nailing them all the way through virgin <laughs> Do we cut him off? Comment below, guys, do we cut him off? <laughs> On this private lake, do we cut him off? <laughs> Should we troll or get the f out of here? Uh, maybe a little bit of both. Oh, just kidding, got one. Oh, oh, it's tiny. Let's get tiny. Oh, he's moly, jolly. He gone. Well, nap time has ensued. I almost just fell asleep rowing. I think we're gonna change lakes. This one has been good. I talked to the gentleman finally. He said that first fish that we saw him get, we brought him some luck. That was the first one he'd got all day. But I bet it was close to 30 inches. It was massive. Uh, but he said he only got one in this lake yesterday too. So we obviously did really well this morning for how the bite's been. We're gonna jump down to the next lake, which is the second biggest lake. This is the smallest one. We're gonna go down to the second lake. And uh, there's a boat that's on the far side that he said was good fishing. And I haven't seen that guy leave yet. So I got a feeling that the fish might be stacked in there. So let's get moving. Goodness, what a versatile little area. Just an absolute fisherman's paradise. This lake has a couple of dudes on it, but so you guys saw there's this awesome cabin. We're gonna be coming back to do another addicted life, probably with the crew. So comment below and get Marlon, everybody give Marlon a little emphasis to get his butt out here and fly fish with us. Cause we know he hates it, but we know we can make him love it too. So be sure to comment below, tell Marlon that he needs to come out here and fly fish. We're gonna stay in this awesome little cabin. The third lake, this guy's already got one on. Like down there looks like he has one on. Looks like this third lake might be the trick. Really, we just need to get Phil the big one. I got a nice big one today. It's Phil's turn to catch his biggest fish ever on a fly rod. Go time, everybody. Very shallow this lake is. Much shallower than the last two. I think over by the dam, it's pretty darn deep, but it doesn't seem like these guys are having to move very far. So we're gonna sneak over here, kind of jockey our position and get to fishing. Oh, that's a big one. Hammered everybody, we just got freaking smoked. 
Wow. It was so peaceful until then, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh man, it scared me a little bit. Perfect, perfect. This is a little red side. These are actually a native, native style of trout that they were put in here a long time ago. These actually are the kind of fish you'd catch in the kind of fish that you catch like actually living naturally in a river. So that was awesome. <laughs> I wish we really got that everybody. That's so cool. I don't even know how to do yet. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Unreal. Nice quick release. Look at that. That's so cool. Look at him. He's just chilling. So guys, right when Phil was, Phil, how does this always happen? Uh, that's always, I don't know. It might be an addicted life thing, but every single time I ever, ever, or any of us ever say something about stopping doing a method or like quitting fishing or whatever, whatever it is, somehow the fish gods shine upon us. And then we slam a fish immediately they are after complaining. And Phil literally looks back at me and at the camera and we were just trying to get get our GoPros and stuff ready, and he goes, man, you think I should change fly? Me! <laughs> there it was. So, I think we're gonna stick with that fly. And uh, I was gonna go back to the truck, but now I feel like that's not a good idea. We're gonna keep fishing. Is that yours? Yeah, you have one. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> oh, man. Is it still there? No. Nope. Torn it. <laughs> So there's, there's a fish out jumping right in the middle of our two lines. And I'm like, that nah, usually doesn't happen if it's not on there. And sure enough, it ended up being on Phil's line, but his line never really went tight. The fish kind of slack line this came right at us and spat the hook. Sean, why are you recording me with my shirt off? I, I, why, wait, oh, I got one though. Oh, I was just giving Sean sh for being a weirdo. I'm out here trying to catch a tan really quick. And then we're hooking fish. Oh, oh, he's submarining me, dude. He's going for the, he's going for the rope. He's going for the anchor rope. Oh, then, oh, oh, gosh. Oh, what a nice one. Wow. Wow, everybody, look at the colors on this thing. That is the coolest trout ever on the micro is to fly. Just came right out. All right, well, there we go, man. S success on three different lakes. I'm Good digging job, it. Dude. That was actually, so Phil, Phil caught me in my little sneaky ordeal. I was using just this little micro fly. Same woolly bugger pattern, just tiny, tiny with a chartreuse tungsten head, a little bit of a blue flash in there. Anybody go to their local fly shop, I guarantee they'll probably throw one of these at you if you tell them you're fishing for a trout in a lake. Phil's using an actual, like, really, really lifelike uh, stonefly presentation. It's April, so the stoneflies are starting to hatch. Pretty soon they're going to turn into golden stones and salmon flies and fly up out of the water. Um, but all these big stoneflies are crawling around on these rocks and these lakes, and that's really that fish's natural food source. So we're going one that has nothing to do with their, with their food, and one that is the exact same as their food. Both of them are working. He's coming for it. He's coming for it. Just got rejected hardcore. Oh man, could you, could you see that? Uh-uh. The thing came flying up, full speed, all the way to the bug, looked at the bug, turned around and ran away. That was insane. Got him, got him, same fish. Yeah! yeah. Oh, he almost jumped in the, oh, he almost jumped in the boat! Oh my god. Oh, that was so sick. That's cool. <laughs> that, was, that jump, dude, it tripled right in the boat. Oh, there he goes. As quick as he came, he was gone. That was awesome. Comment below what you think of that, guys. Got him. Nice. Oh, dude, this one's a monster, dude. Way bigger than Jordan's last fish. <laughs> oh, dude, you got to step out of the boat. Pull the big Dave. that on the stony man stony baloney thank you little dude oh.
Wow. <laughs> We're nailing them out here, man. Yeah, buddy. Hey. Well, everybody, it has been absolutely fantastic out here at Rocky Ridge Ranch. If you guys want to check this place out, be sure to go down. There's a link in the description, and we put a little title at the beginning of the video. Really cool place. Check it out. They have a website. You can see all the amenities and all the cool stuff out here. We'll definitely be back. But we really appreciate you guys being along with us today. Comment below with what you thought of Phil's first fly fish. I thought he did great. Really not at first, but we'll go back and review that. If you guys liked more videos just like this one, go up here and click this link to this next video. Be sure to go down here, subscribe, turn your bell on, give us a thumbs up, and comment below, and you can be the comment of the day just like this guy right here. You guys stay fishy, we'll see you out there.